All right, so now we're going to mount our, uh, create the holes to mount our batteries and our control boards and our camera and our motor controller. And so we're marking the holes for our battery now. And the holes for the batteries and the motors uh, are basically allow zip ties to come through and they're, they're, they don't have to be super precise. You can sort of eye those and get pretty close. So we're using about a quarter inch drill bit and uh, time lapse that so you can see all the, the holes there. And uh, now we're just drawing a line to kind of connect our, uh, the, the holes that are going to our motor so we can uh, use that as a reference point for our lining up our boards and, and things of that nature. And we'll, we'll put another line there. So, uh, so we've got all our components here. We've got our camera, our motor controller, and of course the Arduino, and uh, the outer housing, and the Lexan below. And so we're trying to find a way to orient all of these on the board and uh, see, see if we can make them fit together. So we'll put the Lexan in place. We're going to put our batteries underneath. And uh, our motor, of course, goes on the side. So we're just trying to get a feel for how these things are going to fit together. And uh, we're just positioning them on the, uh, the Lexan. And so we've got the camera there. And I think we're going to turn the camera the other direction. It's got some rounder corners, which tend to line up better with the edge in that direction. And then... Uh, we could put the Arduino like uh, in this direction so that the USB is the same side as the camera's USB and then put the maybe the motor controller on top of the camera. So I think that's how we're going to lay it out. And uh, we've also got a recording module. It's a little voice module you can get from Radio Shack. And we're going to put that, uh, we're not sure where we're going to put that yet, but we know we can mount that in a lot of different places. So right now we'll just sort of set it on top of the Arduino and get a feel for the space. So uh, we're going to line up our Arduino and try and li line it up with those, those horizontal lines that we created um, so that it's, it, it follows that. And then we're going to just outline the Arduino. And the outline kind of just helps us to make sure that it doesn't shift around as we're uh, drawing the center holes for our, our draw, drawing the center marks for our holes uh, that we're going to use to put our screws in. And that'll hold uh, the Arduino off of the uh, Lexan top there. So it, it doesn't look like we're, we're lining the marks up, but we are. It's just the angle of the camera. The marks are directly over each hole. Really important, again, that those are lined up precisely because the screws are very small and the holes are very small. They're not like the zip ties. They have to be pretty precise, otherwise it, it just won't fit. So you can see our screw here that we've got. It's a uh, 256 machine screw, round head machine screw. You can get these at Radio Shack. I believe they're nickel plated. And uh, they fit nicely through the Arduino hole and also the holes in our camera that already exists. So we don't have to, to make any new holes. But we do need to use a drill bit that is just slightly larger than the threads on the, on the screw. And uh, in this case, that's about a sixteenth of an inch bit. So we've already got our holes for the Arduino marked. We're going to drill those out. And then just uh, take, knock off the plastic shavings. We're marking our camera here. And again, it's very important that the screws line up perfectly, mostly because the holes in the camera and in the Arduino for the screws are very small. And we're using our 16th bit to drill out the holes for the camera. So now we're just positioning our Arduino. We're going to put our camera on there so we can create some new holes. And uh, we're going to locate the holes for our motors. So those are motor wire holes. And then we're going to put a hole for our on-off switch. We're going to find the location for that. Uh, and these are not super critical. I mean, you can put these holes in any, any place. And this is the hole for our, on, uh, for our battery power. And then we're going to put a couple random holes for power wires. So we're going to put a hole here and here for wires. And then one up at the top there for, for wires as well. We may want to route wires in different locations. And we're just marking that, that that's the front of the, uh, of the bot there. Okay, so now we're going to take out our on-off switch. And we're going to look at the size of the, uh, the threaded shaft there and, and compare it to a drill bit. Make sure that our drill bit is the same size as the threaded shaft with the threads so that we can fit the uh, on-off switch through the uh, mounting hole very easily. Uh, so again, very important that that's pretty precise. So we're, we'll drill that, that hole uh, and, and put the, uh, put the switch to, to, to mount the switch. And then we'll also finish the other holes and... This is what the uh, final uh, piece of Lexan looks like. You can see the whole configuration there. Yours may differ slightly. Uh, obviously, if you choose different components, the holes will be in different locations. So now we're going to connect our Lexan piece to our styrene outer surround housing or chassis. And we're going to use the original screws that came with the tap light. 
to go back through the, the, the Lexan and connect to the uh, styrene housing. So uh, double checking our holes and our placements for our camera and the Arduino there, and then we'll put all our screws in. So it's important not to over tighten these screws because they will strip out in that soft styrene. Uh, so we're ready now for our next video, which will show us how to connect all the different parts.